On the left we have the silver Galaxy Note 7, and on the right we have the black Galaxy Note 5, each with their individual S pins. The Note 5 has a black tip and is slightly longer than the Galaxy Note 7. Both pins do work on both phones though, so not too much has changed with the Samsung stylus or software. Unfortunately, the phones will only recognize one pin at a time though, so two-handed note-taking is out of the question. With the older Galaxy Note 5, if you were to accidentally stick the S Pin in the phone backwards, it gets stuck, permanently, and will not come out again without breaking the sensor inside of the phone. Now Samsung did quietly issue a hardware fix for this about 4 months after launch, but there's no way to know for sure which phones have the fix inside, so it's better off to just not try this. I personally received my Note 5 at launch, and as we can see, it definitely does not have the fix in place. If you want a detailed video on how to open up the Galaxy Note 5, I did make a video exclusively on the teardown process, but in this video I'm just saving my S Pin and showing you why it got stuck in the first place. If you look close, you can see this little niblet is attached to the circuit board. This is what tells your phone that the S Pin is in its slot or not. It's also what catches the end of the S Pin when it gets inserted into the phone wrongly. When Samsung fixed the issue on some models, they added a little bumper over the latch so that wouldn't bend back the wrong direction, or get caught on the S Pin itself. So does the Note 7 have the same issue? Let's find out. I've opened up my Galaxy Note 7 because reviewing technology from the inside is kind of what we do around here. And since the Note 7 is waterproof, the S Pin has its own sealed housing, which is interesting. I'll go more in depth about the waterproofing on the Note 7 in another video, but with this video we can see that the S Pin literally only fits in the hole one direction. And if we peer down inside the S Pin slot, we can see that the hole is tapered ever so slightly, so that the head of the pin will not slide through backwards, even if we wanted it to. In fact, if held correctly, the S Pin will actually launch itself in the opposite direction, away from the hole. Seems like a foolproof design to me, and Samsung permanently took care of the issue. If you're curious about the durability of the Galaxy Note 7, check out my previous video, and be on the lookout for my full teardown and waterproofing analysis videos, both of which are coming up in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you around.